Riding the subway just got supremely cool. Coming up next on Culture Vulture Live. Joe here, and this week, we're talking the New York City subway fare cards and why they suddenly just got so popular. As it turns out, the streetwear brand Supreme invested in ad space on the fare cards. In keeping with their limited release philosophy, the number of metro cards featuring the brand is unknown. They're available only in a handful of stations and then only particular machines. Of course, this caused the crowds to go wild. To make matters even more exclusive, fans sometimes had to buy a slew of regular cards before the machine finally spit out the Supreme branded prizes. The $5.50 two ride cards were bought up so quickly some people were buying 50 at a time. I should also mention that they sold out in one day and are already fetching up to $100 on auction sites, both locally and as far away as Indonesia. What this sudden cultural trend tells us is that a treasure is different for everyone. For some shoppers and fans, it's about the braggability. For others, it's desiring something that they perceive as being more valuable than its cost. At 550, a ride card has great value to those who are fanatic about the Supreme brand. This follows a trend that Mindshare has been tracking called happenstancing. In a world that increasingly feels contrived, the desire for surprise, randomness, and happenstance increases. Brands can use happenstancing to drive attention and offer up unexpected experiences in the sea of sameness. Also, brands should note that media comes in all shapes and sizes. The Metro cards work perfectly for the Supreme brand because the limited availability and hunt for the card align perfectly with their brand's DNA of scarcity and hype. And the unique form of advertising just put at least 50,000 branded cards into the hands of commuters flashing the logo all over the city. There will be no scarcity in traffic in the store. Thank you for watching Culture Vulture Live. For more, visit mindshareintheloop.com.